Okay, so in this uh, recording, I'm uh, going to teach you how to somehow automate uh, your manual entry into AlphaList. So let's open a file here. Uh, our sample case would be for 1601E entry. Uh, input into your uh, AlphaList program. Uh, what I've done essentially uh, is uh, created an automation in AutoHotKey. So AutoHotKey is kind of a scripting uh, program for Windows, which I think what everyone uses for AlphaList anyway because uh, you need a Microsoft Excel and a Windows uh, OS to operate it. So this is a very simple program uh, that automates uh, anything you can actually dream of, like copy-paste, uh, moving mouse, uh, key presses in your keyboard, uh, doing redundant things, essentially. So uh, you can go to autohotkey.com to download this program. And uh, I'll show you the script that I've created for you to kind of manipulate later on and uh, you can try it out for yourself. So, um, before going into auto hotkey actually, uh, you could actually, as a secondary measure, if you don't want to do, deal with, uh, you know, uh, automation like auto hotkey, use a clipboard manager instead. So, Ditto is a clipboard manager I've been using personally for the past few years. It's a very lightweight program for uh, Windows. Um, and I'll also show you how you can use this to somehow you know, make it easy for data input into AlphaList. So let's open up an Excel file here for 1601E. Let's put it on the right side. So to do that, if you're not familiar, you just kind of minimize your window. You can uh, snap uh, it into the right side, or you can actually press show you keyboard here hold on there you go. so you can also actually press window arrow and that would actually snap it to your right uh, side of your desktop and uh, we actually want to open up your alpha list program here so I've already uh, opened here the 1601E uh, program to uh, for you to fill up where you need to fill up so I'll snap it as well to the left side so just hit windows and arrow key that should snap it so since it's cut you can just actually extend it a bit like this and move this whole window to the left like so okay so let's try and uh, demo inputting all the data here from excel into alpha list using ditto as a program so Ditto, uh, as I mentioned, is a clipboard manager. Uh, it actually uh, saves all the uh, copies you make on your Windows uh, operating system. So, for example, in this uh, 1601E uh, Alpha List uh, portal, I need the TIN number and I need to input the uh, registered name, you know, going back and forth, copying and copying, pasting, like so. Oh, forgot to add. Okay, so I'm pasting data, making, uh, clicking on the tab tab button to move to the next uh, field. Copy the company name. Copy the, move, click on the tab again. Copy the ATC. Then go back to Excel, copy the amount, 
before I say it. So uh, that's uh, the difficult part, like going back and forth. So to speed it up using Ditto, you can actually just do copy, 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 and copy all the items you need from Excel. And then when you're on alpha list, you just uh, press a keyboard short shortcut for my instance, uh, how I call Dito up. And you also know, by the way, that Dito is running uh, from your uh, toolbar here. So I just hit uh, Control D, that's my shortcut to trigger Dito. And it would actually show up everything I've copied. So I want to paste in the number. So I click on this one. And then I just hit tab, tab. Uh, customer is registered for customer number one. So I now paste the W uh, ATC. So it's this one. And then I hit tab again. And then I paste the amount, uh, which is this one. So I, I think I didn't copy it on the right row, but let's just ignore that. But essentially, what I've done is I've just simply copied everything I need from needed from Excel, and then simply triggered you know uh, little uh, shortcut, which is for me it's Control D, and then just pasted everything on alpha list instead of doing copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste which is a bit more confusing now that's the uh, uh, for those of you who uh, want uh, you know kind of a step up into your copying and pasting but uh, now we move on to the auto hot key that uh, I've programmed so anyone else can actually do this program so I'll actually show you how it looks here i'll go to my desktop so i've created two types of uh, scripts one that is for enrolled and one is for the not enrolled so let's test out the one that is enrolled first okay so to run the script uh again i mentioned you you need to download auto hotkey on their web uh, on the website once that's done, you just, you know, create a new auto hotkey uh, auto script. And then from there, you just edit this and create your code. So uh, let's run this one. I'll go ahead and double click this. As I do that, you'll notice that it should run on your taskbar right here. So you can pause it. If you want to, it will change it to red. And if you click again, it will let it run again. So let's open up the file here just so you can see what the script looks like, but I'll be sharing this as well. All right, so essentially, this first line here says uh, the shortcut to uh, call this script is F1. The next part would be to copy everything on Excel, like Ditto. So instead of you know, going back and forth, you copy everything on Excel. And then go to alpha list and then paste all the relevant information that you need to fill up. So let's try this out. So I go to the first entry. The first entry, as you've uh, seen a while ago, is supplier number one, and that supplier has been enrolled already. So I 
was able to do it now you you've seen that it had run it just had a bit of trouble i think it's because of uh, not being on the right uh, uh, I, I didn't put a ad so i've only registered supplier one so this script specifically is for supplier one let's try and run the other script let's open this up first just so you see Let's compare the two scripts together side by side so you know you can see a difference so as you can see the shortcuts are different f2 for the not enrolled f1 for the enrolled everything in the copy section is the same but on the paste section the only difference is that we've uh, included the company name whereas with this one you don't see a company name afterwards the tin too okay so essentially what this does is it knows that it's not the company is not registered yet so it's copying the company name and entering it into alpha list so let's go back to excel or oh, let's run this first Double click to run. You'll have now uh, two running scripts. Also, uh, doing a mouse over will show the name of the script, so it's very important to name it properly so you don't get confused. Let's now try the next row. And then the shortcut for this will be F2. Let's run it. Okay, so it actually run properly. If I go back to the previous record, you'd see everything was copied properly. And actually, part of the script is to move on to the next row so that we don't have to hit enter. So I can actually run through all of this by just clicking F2. So I'll just click the F2 now on my keyboard without showing the on-screen keyboard. And you'd see that it will run continuously. So I'm pressing F2 now. Okay. I'm pressing F2 again for the second time. I'm pressing F2 again for the third time. Alright, so and uh, it can go on and on. Actually, if you know that uh, your list isn't enrolled uh, in alpha list, you could actually filter it out and then update the script when it runs uh, on and on or uh, until you, when you want to stop. So uh, you can you can do uh, certain things on the script that can run it several times. So I'm actually just a beginner in auto hotkey. I just kind of researched everything that needed to be done. I know that it could be done using auto hot auto hot key, but uh, I, I wasn't familiar and I only had a basic knowledge of coding. So what I did was to just uh, go into their knowledge database here. Their documentation and they also have a forum. Uh, where you can read 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 about uh, the scripts that are needed. Uh, it's a bit confusing, but uh, uh, if you have you know time in your hands, you'll probably try uh, be able to figure it out. Um, if you do need help, however, since I'm a bit familiar already with this, you know just shoot me up a message or email, and I'll 
be more than happy to help you out. And one more thing, uh, it's not only, this this uh, auto hotkey script is not only limited to uh, this 1601 e form, it can be automated or done also in other forms uh, on alpha list. I think that's it. If you have questions, again, message me. Goodbye.